Hi, it's Jenny Losey with the Idaho State Journal. Last February at 7 a.m., Twain Thomas, 54, was shot three times after he kicked in a neighbor's door and came at the occupants with a large machete. I also talked with Mammoth County Prosecutor Stephen Herzog to tell us more details on the incident and if this is a good example of why people should own a firearm. On January 15th, 2015, the video was released during court. I'm about to show you this video and it's pretty disturbing, so if this concerns you, please turn off the video now. Oh my god. Hey, wait. I got a gun from Calm down! Calm down! Oh Stay down, Dwayne! Stay down! I think he was shot three times. He survived. Uh, he was arrested and charged with, once he was released from the hospital, uh, he was arrested and charged with uh, two counts of attempted murder and two counts of aggravated assault. And the aggravated assault occurred just prior to him forcing his way into this residence in an apartment upstairs. So this kind of started a little bit earlier and involved another couple in another apartment <clears throat> that he forced his way into and was driven out of that apartment with a, a big a staff or something, but they got him out and then he went downstairs where he was shot. This is a perfect example of uh, your legitimate right to defend yourself in your home and from a violent intruder. And <clears throat> you know, there's all uh, people have mixed feelings about firearms, but if you want to point to one particular instance where having a firearm, I think, prevented uh, these people getting seriously injured or killed, it was this instance. And the great thing is there was a video that really helped, I mean, it spells out exactly what happened. There's no question that the homeowner acted lawfully in defending himself, his girlfriend, and his, his property. And at some point, uh, Mr. Thomas, I believe, asked why the occupant shot him, and the occupant well, I thought you were going to kill me. And Mr. Thomas goes, I was. How you killed me? What? You were going to kill me? Yeah, you're right. Uh, well, then I did the right thing. You did? Why uh, were you doing that, Wayne? Uh, I did what I told you the other day. Uh, I have no problem with you. Uh, uh, it's, it's a really scary video. And it really... Uh, you know, it's, and it's tragic, you know, on a couple of levels, for certainly for the occupants, having gone what they went through, and for Mr. Thomas, because, uh, you know, he ended up getting shot, he, he ended up doing something that he obviously shouldn't have done, which was terrorize these people. In this particular case, having a firearm was... Uh, 
absolutely fortuitous. It was uh, the perfect tool, if you want to describe it that way, for a, a, a really bad job that needed to be done. This is really unusual where you, know, you, you have a shooting, a justified shooting, that is videotaped and is and unfolds in such a, um, I don't want to say appropriate way, but, you know, the occupant warned, I mean, warned the intruder that he had a firearm. And, you know, that's fair. First of all, if you come into, you don't have to warn someone. If you're breaking into someone's house, they don't have to give you a warning. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman, uh, kudos to him. He did, I think, everything right. Thanks for watching. To see the original footage of this video and the full length video, click on the link below. I'm Jenny Lussie with the Idaho State Journal, and have a good weekend.